Hello, hi, this is Michael. Uh, thanks for uh, watching today. Today I'm going to show you how to install a alternator pulley and um, belt on a Type 1 Volkswagen Beetle engine. <coughs> um, this type of engine is also in a bus and a Kia and some other applications as well. A um, couple things that you're going to need. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you got a, a Woodruff key, this little tiny, um, sorry, little tiny uh, keeper that what's, helps the pulley not to uh, spin. Um, you got the uh, actual bolt for the um, pulley, and then obviously the belt. So each engine, I always say that has this mind of its own, and so. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes you use a lot of shims, sometimes you don't. So the Woodruff key, that little moon shaped um, piece that, um, push it closer, that goes in this little, like this little tiny hole here. And that's what keeps the pulley on the alternator. And before this, I I did some kind of sanding to to get that key to get that in there. I'm just going to use I'm going to put that in there. Here is the, there you go. And then, got a bunch of these shims. So I'm gonna do without shims first, see where I, where I end up. Um, so I'm just gonna slide this on. And then there's a, um, a curved side and then kind of a, a notch side that correlates to the actual pulley. So I'm going to put that on there, grab the fan belt, and we'll see what happens. Like I, it seems like it's going to be pretty tight. All right, so I gotta take a take a tripod here and show you a couple things. Okay, so you gotta tighten this up, but if you put the wrench on here, it'll just keep on keep on spinning um, as you tighten it. So you gotta figure out a way to tighten up the bolt and hold the pulley. So we got the groove in the pulley and then you got this groove here. And then you take your flathead screwdriver and stick it in that hole. And then as, as it turns, I don't have three hands. So as it turns, like the, the screwdriver will go into that that hole and then hold it and then it'll tighten up it looks to me like it seems pretty tight um, based on kind of nothing seems really tight I'm gonna loosen it up. I mean, I feel like maybe put another one on there, but I don't. I don't want to chance it. I'm just gonna loosen it up. 
loosen this up real quick. And then um, put the shims. behind it. And this is a new setup along with a new, um, new pulley, both new pulley for the uh, alternator and then there's one for the uh, crankshaft as well. And I usually tighten it up, turn it, till the other side and then tighten it up again. Just so it's, um, sometimes the belt, which, it's kind of, seems a little too tight, so I'm going to back it off one time. Okay, so that is a little too tight for, for me. So I'm going to put take off the shims and maybe put one shim behind it. So it's one of those things where you just put the shims. So putting the shims inside the pulley will loosen the, the grip I guess the pulley has on the belt and therefore making it looser and so um, these ones on the outside are just there for show pretty much um, not necessarily for show but to help pinch it but then also um, the, the more you the more you drive the car the more the um, the belt will wear down and then through time you have to go through and when you change your oil and do your uh, maintenance checkup that you'll I'm gonna do it one more time. It's tough. I feel like it's really too tight. Alright, so I'm gonna take these off. And I'm gonna put one more in there, and then hopefully that will do it. Put the shims back on, put the little thing back on, put the nut back on. And obviously, obviously this is an aftermarket nut, so the the stock nuts are just an actual nut nut. You know, it's not it has it doesn't look like this fancy one. That's kind of how much play I like to have in it. All right, and that is that. All right, thank you again for watching, and um, hope you learned a little bit about how to install a fan belt and a pulley on a type 1 engine um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe below and um, have a great day